everything has its own first. And the impeachment process that is ongoing regarding the our deputy president is not unique. It's an application of the constitution. It's not something that has been plugged from the air. It has a constitutional process to follow. And therefore, to that extent, it is a constitutional process. If it comes back to the courts, it's been in the courts, you know, the number of 20 whatever applications and cases. If it comes to court after Senate, whatever it is that happens, we don't know. We cannot anticipate the outcome of the um, Senate process. If it comes here, it's a case like the next case. Um, it will be um, handled by we who sit in the judiciary in the manner the Constitution has authorized us to do, in the manner the law has uh, authorized us to do. We can't go outside the Constitution. We can't go outside of the law. So it has made work easier, it has made it faster, and it has made it transparent and, more importantly, safer. There's no risk of losing a document. There is, you, you can't say, oh, my papers, I sent them to Nairobi last week and I have not had uh, feedback. Technology is a game changer. Uh, after prudence, I would say um, technology is the other thing.